Welcome to your Bigfoot Hunt Trip Report. It is Third Eye Champagne and Auntie has been on the move. So uh, I headed up to just past Little Creek, California on the Trinity River. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let me just say this. This was a spur of the moment thing. I was like, let's just go Bigfoot hunting. This is not in any way a professional endeavor in that I didn't have traps or, you know, I don't know, whatever the hell you need to catch a Bigfoot or look for a Bigfoot. I did no research, I did nothing. I just figured, you know what, we're gonna go to the area, we're gonna see what we see. I'm glad I did it that way because if I had read the books that I've read now since I've been home, I never would have gone. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the California coastline. Welcome to Humboldt County, welcome to Trinity County. Um, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I grew up around the Redwoods, not in that area, but around Garville, California, and I lived up there in my 20s for like 10 years. So um, it's definitely different. It's definitely a different vibe. I like it much better myself, just because, you know, I lived in a haunted, you know, demon house when I <laughs> lived in Garville. So um, here's, here's the highlights. Here's where you gotta go. On your way up there, you should definitely stop at Confusion Hill just because it's utterly fucking bizarre. It is absolutely bizarre. It's one of those, you know, old-timey kind of places. Just do it. Just do it. It's, it's just a weird, weird kind of thing. It's definitely a weird California thing. I, I'm sure that if you're from outside of California, you're like, you're going to think it's 20 times weirder than I even did. Let's look at the safety hazards here. Jesus, God. We stayed at the Blue Lake Hotel and Casino in Blue Lake, which is just outside of Arcata. And um, I was pleased. <laughs> I was, you know, I never went to the casino, but I stayed in the hotel and everybody there was amazing, absolutely wonderful. Expedia accidentally booked me two rooms and the hotel was like fabulous about taking care of it. So shout out to the Blue Lake Hotel and Casino. Fabulous. Out of all this shit that I bought while I was up there, this is my favorite. Mountain Wise Farms. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, but it's Mountain Wise Farms and it's pain relief rub. It does have THC in it, it's got CBD in it. It is, I got it at the Heart of Humboldt, which is a great little place if you go. Um, it's legal here, folks. <laughs> so get your asses to California. Just don't try to bring it back on the plane. Our, uh, our first meal was at Tony's 24 hours and it was hella good. Listen, this is like you order at the register, you sit down and somebody brings you your food. It's delicious. I ate there twice while I was there and could not have been happier. Like eat there, eat there. And then I can also recommend to you the Big Blue Cafe, which I loved, which the pancakes were this big, which I did not know. <laughs> Now that's it. The Big Blue Cafe is in Arcata, by the way, and so is Tony's 24. Also in Arcata were some really lovely stores. Walk around that square, you guys. I will shout out to Moonrise Herbs, where I got some cool stuff. Also shout out to Zen and All Under Heaven. I got some great stuff there. We went to Patrick's Point, which was really beautiful, and they have these Native American, um, I don't know what to call them. I'm going to call it a lodge. But they have, they've been standing forever and ever. They've been there forever and ever and ever and you can go inside of them. And it's fucking awesome and everybody should do it. And I'm telling you, the vibes there were amazing. I think with these forests, with these old forests and the redwood giants and you're so near to the ocean, I think that the vibes there are gonna be incredible no matter what. And they were. I am here at Patrick's Point uh, State Park and I am in a Native American lodge it's completely made out of redwood it's been here forever they just let people inside these things it's insane it's insane i can't believe it i can't believe it but um i got some good photos so hopefully you'll see those in a few minutes on the screen but the juju here is amazing peaceful and industrious so i don't know what tribe was here but um i i mean i I do know, I have forgotten the name already, but that's what I feel in this room. Peaceful and industrious, super chill, super chill. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like good vibes here. 
super chill, peaceful, industrious. I feel like not, not, not a war tribe. Um, like they didn't have a need for that. It just feels like super gentle, chill vibes. Really took care of each other. Um, this is an amazing place, you guys. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay, I'll be back soon. No Bigfoot in here, by the way. <laughs> Patrick's Point is amazing. We hit up Trinidad, California, which is a bougie ass place. Let me tell you, it's right on the water. It's got a beautiful bay. We hiked down to the bay. It was a hell of a fucking hike. I, y'all, like these steps with the grade is like this, where you're just like, <gasps> so on our way, this was like the worst planning ever, but on our way to Willow Creek, we actually went in the opposite direction. We actually went way, way up towards Oregon to Fern Canyon. So Fern Canyon, listen, do it. Do it. It's a bitch to get in there. I thought I was gonna die driving in there, but do it. It's where they filmed Jurassic Park 2, parts of Jurassic Park 2, and apparently it's just it's just incredibly well known and it was full of people. Like it was so full of people. But you have to drive into this state park and it's past the Humboldt Lagoons, which we went to the Humboldt Lagoons, they're really beautiful. I'd love to paddle around in there next time I'm up there, but this time we were we were kind of like, all right, let's stop and look at the water. Okay, let's get back in the car. Okay, here's some elk. Okay, let's, you know, it was just kind of like, we've got to get to Fern Canyon because at the exact same day, we were going to be driving the other direction to Willow, Willow Creek, Weaverville, and that area. So two different directions. So we drove into the state park and eventually you just go up this crazy dirt road. And you get to a guard shack and she's like, oh yeah, you gotta drive through the creek and you know, but you should be fine. Hashtag fuck off. The road is this narrow. It's two way traffic. There's a cliff on either side of you, no matter which way you're going. It's, but you are in the forest. It is positively medieval. Eventually you get to some creeks running over the road. So you have to drive through the creek, which I did, which it terrified me, and I honestly didn't think we were gonna make it out. I really didn't think we were gonna make it out, but we managed it. She also failed to tell us there's more than one creek. There was a couple of creeks crossing that road, but that was the deepest one. She said it was about six to eight feet, or six to eight feet, oh my God, six to eight inches, but it was more like 12, probably. I mean, it was definitely coming up, and I'll tell you, I could feel the tires spinning and the rocks flying out from behind my tires as I was trying to get out of the damn thing. It terrified me. So after that, the road actually gets rougher and eventually opens up into a parking lot. You're literally in the middle of nowhere, but there was a ton of people in this parking lot, a ton of people. You hike into Fern Canyon and it is just stunning. Right now to Fern Canyon where they filmed Jurassic Park 2. This is fun. Okay. I'm gonna make the jump. I'm not. I'm making the jump. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was so worth it. It was probably the highlight of my trip. It was easily the best thing we did. I'm not a hiker. I'm not sporty spice. I'm not outdoorsy spice, but I was there for it. So I highly recommend it if you are in the area, if you live up there, if you're going up the coast, if you're from out of state and you're gonna be camping out there, fucking do it. So <laughs> there are my endorsements uh, as far as uh, Humboldt County goes and Arcata goes and uh, Trinidad. Um, so then we made our way over to Willow Creek, which is the epicenter of Bigfoot Mania. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi. <laughs> okay, I'm really super duper headed into Bigfoot country now. Like, we're already there, pretty much. I've seen a lot of statues, a lot, a lot of statues. But now we're going into the middle of fucking nowhere. Stay tuned. Redwood Coast Rentals. Totally recommend it. This place was amazing. It 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 um, it was real close to the Trinity River. We were pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what a gripper is. Pan over here. Good morning, grippers. And if you're wondering what the fuck does that mean, you're not alone. We've rented a cabin from something called the Grippers. Grippers, if you're out there. 
we're curious. So there's a lot of gripper paraphernalia in here. Some gripper photos. Got some, uh, some gripper stuff going on over here. I don't know what a gripper is. Possibly a bicyclist. Possibly a skier. Possibly a donkey horse. But there's gripper stuff all over the house. And what I have found on the wall, on the gripper wall, Bigfoot's phone number, y'all. Right there. Shout out to the grippers. We don't know what you are. We don't know who you are. And we're curious. Stay tuned. If anyone is a gripper, the Horse Mountain Grippers, are you out there? I am curious. I want to know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> we rented this cabin and there was just gripper stuff everywhere. They, they have a song. I mean, they have, they have a declaration of something. They have a mission statement. They had all sorts of stuff and we were like, I don't know what a gripper is, but I mean the glasses, they had gripper glasses, they had gripper everything. I don't know what a gripper is, but I might want to join your cult. Now the Bigfoot hunt can begin in earnest. So, I'm inside the cabin. I'm the only one awake. I'm making my tea. And I shit you not, you guys, I swear to God, I swear to God, I hear the most bizarre noise coming from somewhere out there. It sounded, I swear to God, this is so insane. Um, Cause like, <laughs> I'm going Bigfoot hunting, right? Like I'm not gonna see a Bigfoot. Like it's like not gonna happen. And I have not seen anything. But I will tell you this noise sounded like a, um, like an, a guttural elephant screamy noise. <laughs> I've never heard anything like it. If I gotta, you know, now I gotta look at one of those Bigfoot shows because, you know, they play those supposed Bigfoot screams. Supposed, alleged. And I gotta see if it's the same sound because I've never heard the sound before in my life. I don't know what animal makes this fucking sound. So I gotta figure out. I'm telling you guys, I like making the tea and I hear this noise and I, I was like washing a dish while I was doing it and I turned off the water because I was like, oh, is it the pipes? Turn off the water, I realized it's coming from outside and it's a, clearly an animal noise. Never heard this noise before in my life. I mean, I. I used to live in the woods, not these particular woods, but I used to live in the woods. And I've never heard this noise. I gotta figure out what this noise was. This is insane. I, this is really b bizarre. Unidentified noise on the Trinity River. That's what we've got right now. All right, I'll catch you later. And look what I have. ba -bow. Okay, this is not, we did not find a Bigfoot. We didn't find shit. <laughs> we were in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the one morning that I heard the noises, turns out it was elk. So my brother woke up and I was like, I heard a Bigfoot. And he goes, what did it sound like? And I told him, he goes, nope, that was elk. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you. He's good. And here's where, okay, this is definitely a weird thing that happened. Okay. So here's the weird thing that happened. We're laying on the beach, lazing around. You know, we've, we've kind of looked around a little bit for Bigfoot. We've, we've, we've hiked in strange places already and you know, nothing. You're just hiking and there's trees. So nothing happened. I can equivocate, I can absolutely tell you that nothing happened except for when we were not doing our Bigfoot hunting and we were not hiking around, we were not looking for anything weird, something kind of weird happened. So we were laying on the beach and just chilling and you know, all right, we got some binoculars, we're scanning, but of course there's no Bigfoots. <laughs> And we hear this really weird noise. And it went on for so long. Finally, I was like to my brother, I go, what is that noise? And he said, I, it's gotta be a car. It's gotta be somebody who's having car trouble somewhere. It, it was a, but it was a scream. So it was kind of like how brakes screech or like you would hear an engine screaming, except it wasn't. I mean, to me, it definitely sounded not like a car. It sounded like, like um, something, something living. So there's a scream. And it finally ends, and we can't figure out what it is. Could be an animal, could be a car, we don't know. But we're not thinking Bigfoot. We're no, in no way thinking there's, there's a Bigfoot out there. And then I realize I've been making jokes the entire trip about birds because they're just everywhere. And it sounds, it sounds like they're fucking piping them in. You're, you're hiking everywhere and just, you know, these cute little birds. It's like Disney or something. And so I realize there's no birds. There's no sound. 
there's no cicadas, there's no crickets, there's no nothing. There is no noise where we are at, nothing after the scream, nothing. And then what do we hear after that? We hear a fucking tree fall over. And I was like, okay, something's out there, something's out there. I like flipped out and my brother goes, I read somewhere that like Bigfoot's push trees over and I was like, holy shit. So that's my only possible unlikely Bigfoot experience that I had was we heard some weird scream, it got very quiet and then a tree got fall, fell over. I mean, you we never saw it, so it was somewhere way back in there, but you could hear it very clearly. This sucker I got from the Willow Creek China Flat Museum, which I highly recommend. It was one of the best museums I've ever been to. It had the most Bigfoot stuff. The woman there is amazing. I can't remember her name, of course, but shout out to Lady, the blonde lady that works there. I'm, I, I, I could attempt a name, but I'm gonna fuck it up. So this is an actual cast. It's a copy of a cast made by Al Hodgson, taken at Bluff Creek in 1963. They sell these! So I was all over it. Very much into that. That woman was very sweet, very personable, really sweet to talk to. The, the museum was amazing. They have artifacts from, from all sorts of, not just Bigfoot stuff. So I think it's well worth the trip. And then I got the Bigfoot case, case book. Bigfoot case book. Okay, and then I also got Who's Watching You. I think it's called Who's Watching You, which I actually already lent out because I was like, it's so good you have to read it. I tell you what, after reading the books, I'm a fucking believer. I'm going back. I'm going back in, guys. I'm going back in. Uh, where should Auntie go next? That's my question to you. Let me know in the comments. Where should I go? Let me know. All right, my darlings. I will talk to you later. I do love you. I do adore you. Be well. The full version of this video is available for $10 and up patrons. See way more photos and videos taken on location in Willow Creek, Fern Canyon, and Arcata. Don't miss my awesome visit to the Sequoia Park Zoo. The link is in the box. Special thanks to Jacinta Higgins, our main sponsor for this program. Thank you.